screen, screen. Okay. I think we can start now, yeah? Right? Yes, thank you. Okay. Yes. So I think you can turn off your mic microphone first, and then you just listen to me first, all right? So if you have anything to ask, then you you uh, either you um, use the chat function. Lah, eh? So let me do the, the speaking first, right? So good morning to all. So this is uh, class one alpha, yeah? I am and uh, I am your class teacher for for this year uh, from uh, one alpha, and then I also teach you sign for form one. Okay. Um, so before we start, I I think uh, we just do some introduction only uh, today. Uh. I will not start doing uh, the learning. I will not start uh, um, get into the science chapter. Okay. But for today, just for introduction only, okay? We will go through, we will try to go through what you are going to learn in science form one, okay? So before that, I want to introduce myself. As I said early, I am your class teacher for one alpha, and then I'm also your science teacher for this year, right? So a bit uh, what we call information about me, lah, right? I will present something. Okay, can you see my presentation? I need your response. Yes. Can you see my picture? Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Okay, very good, nice. Okay. Uh, how about the my, my voice, my video? Is it clear, no buffering? Is it very smooth running or not? Is it okay, I think, yeah? Okay, wait, um, someone called, okay. So make sure uh, if you have your MOE ID, make sure you log in your MOE ID. Eh? But I think if you doesn't have MOE ID, or maybe you already forgot the password or whatever, maybe you can use your private lah. You can use your private email. But I need to approve you one by one. Eh? If you use your MOE ID, I no need to approve you to enter my class. Okay, but never mind. There is a very, very what we call small, small problem. But the most important thing that you can, what we call, uh, join my class lah, eh? uh, according to the timetable. Okay, let me introduce myself first. My name is Anwar Bin Mat. Okay, I am your class teacher. Like I said earlier, I am your class teacher, and I will teaching you science for today. So it is very unfortunate. Eh? It is very, very unfortunate to to say lah eh, that I cannot meet you during the first day of school actually yeah because of this um pandemic the COVID one right uh it's still it increased but never mind huh? we try to adapt to what we call a new norm here right so uh, i'm actually very uh what we call um um try to very welcome you lah, eh, to the to, to the school but unfortunately, this is what happened, but never mind. So you can call me Mr. Anwar, okay? So I got my degree, okay? Uh, the second one is my um, degree in IT and science from University Pendidikan Sultan Idris. Okay, you call, right? And then the second one, I have been teaching uh, for about 14 years now. My first school, I've been teaching science for 14 years about, yeah? And then my first school is SMK Tinggi Sarike for four years. And then the second school, SMK Jalan Pasir Putih, Ipoh. And then my this is my third school, yeah. Uh, the SMK J, SMJK Sinchong. This is my third school from 2016 until now. So I have been teaching science for since my first posting in Sarike, Sarawak. Okay. And then what others? Um, I'm from Sungai Siput. Okay, I'm not from other other state. I am from Sungai Siput. I am local Sungai Siput, from um, Kampung uh, Kampung Tersusun. If you know the Kampung Tersusun behind the Muhibah there, yeah, I'm I'm um, from Sungai Siput. And then my previous school, yeah, in my my secondary and my primary school at Methodist, I am the alumni of Methodist school actually. 
okay so i am not what we call um um from arts order lah i am from local sungai siput uh what we call people okay any other things you want to ask no 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 are you sure nothing, nothing to ask you want to directly jump to what we're going to learn in science never mind like i told you earlier this is our first day and then um i i i won't start any what we call homework for today just for introduction only right so okay if you have nothing to ask so number one you must understand yeah um how about okay never mind so our class i think i already upload the class timetable for you on our telegram group right okay make sure you adhere or you what we call um um know your what we call the subject for timetable in this pdpr okay pdpr mean pengajaran dan pembelajaran di rumah lah ya maybe mostly online lah ya okay we take a look at your um, timetable your class timetable first eh okay i will share the timetable first All right. So this is our class Telegram group. Okay. Make sure you join the class Telegram group. So any this is the class Telegram group and my subject Telegram group also. Okay. Science and our class uh, what we call class Telegram group. And then maybe other teachers already enter the class, the our our Telegram group, and then they create another group for their subject. So also make sure you join that um, group as well. Okay. And then for the timetable. All right. Can you see the timetable for Al one Al? Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Good. So this is your timetable for the um uh for the pdpr lah eh? until until i don't know until when but for now we stick to this uh online timetable okay i don't know about other teachers but for science the the schedule or the timetable for science is on tuesday, tuesday at nine am for one hour and then in, uh, on thursday yes on thursday also 9 am for one one hour okay and then i mostly most of the time i will use google classroom okay and then i will use google meet all right uh if you want to turn on your camera it is okay but it is not what we call i am not um forcing you to open your camera lah huh? but maybe later later on before we end the class i need you to open the can so that i can take the screenshot of the class eh, can you do it for me later lah later maybe about uh, when we end the class for today yeah okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Good. Yes. Right. because okay. i do not want to open the camera maybe because maybe internet will will go very slow okay but most importantly you can see me and then the most important you can hear my my voice clearly right can yes. you understand me? can you understand what i'm saying uh, i'm too far yes. Or too slow? yes yeah. okay very good very good very good okay uh, next one the second one this week uh this session is being recorded yeah this session is being recorded and then attendance will be taken um automatically meaning that if you enter the class if you enter my google meet class there is an attendance uh that been taken automatically okay and then for those who are un unable to join my class because this is uh because my class is being recorded i will upload a copy of the recording on uh, to the youtube and then i will paste the link to to our telegram group for you to see again okay okay very good, right okay very good very good very good okay. so, so this is one alpha one alpha if you know is the first class of the um 
for the entire for the entire uh, form eh, form one the first class so science and mathematics in english right we call it a dlp or dual language program okay so dual language program is for form one alpha one beta one uh, gamma and one lambda the first four class alpha beta lambda and gamma science and mathematics class will be teach in english but maybe not 100% english lah okay maybe uh, i will what we call um, explain uh, also in malay huh? but most of the time i i think i will teach in english right so please do not hesitate to ask me if you have not if you have anything to ask you have any problem do not hesitate to ask me through the telegram group or through the google classroom comment section itself okay don't worry okay i'm here to help you because now very very hard to you know to imagine all right i cannot see you we cannot um face to face teaching that like the normal one but we try to do you know to to adapt with this new situation yeah, until don't know lah until when okay right so i also later uh, um, where is the oh okay how about textbook like i uh earlier the textbook uh, okay can you see the the notice here Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Thank you. Kim pinjaman buku teks SPBT. Pelajar tingkatan lima. Pelajar sat. Ya, this one lah. Pelajar tingkatan satu peralihan hingga dua twenty twenty one. Still waiting for the instruction from the KPM. So this is the status of our SPBT. Ah, buku teks lah ya. Buku teks still. Waiting for the instruction when you able to get the textbook and not just the textbook lah ya, also the the workbook also. But never mind, we we'll try. I will try to give you online online exercise lah, but not too much. Maybe just a simple one. Okay, and that is the status of your textbook and your workbook. Okay, still waiting for the for the instruction from the KPM. Okay, next one. As you know, yeah, be, uh, starting from tomorrow, the 22nd, 20, 22nd of January, Perak State will become MCO, full MCO, PKP. PKP means you cannot go anywhere without any reason. You need to stay at home. Yeah, starting from tomorrow, 22nd of January until 4th of February. Okay, so please stay at home and then adhere to the SOP. Okay. Um, okay. okay, very good. Uh, never mind. <laughs> so, about the textbook, I will give you the link. All right, I will give you the link for you to download the soft copy or the digital version of science textbook later. Okay, or are you already download it? No, okay, I will give it later. I will give it later. Okay. You need to download the uh, digital textbook, meaning that in the form of soft copy, the PDF, so that you can, uh, what you can, uh, you can read the uh, textbook on your handphone or using your computer later. Yeah, for form one, right? I will give you the link later. Okay. So, anything to ask? Is it okay right now? Until now? Okay. Okay. Very good. <laughs> what happened over there? What happened over there? What What is the commotion? What is the noise there? Okay, never mind. Okay, so um, I'm at the multimedia lab right now. Yeah. Um, later lah, when we able, when you able to come to school and then get to know the place and then the teachers. I'm looking forward actually. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see you. And to meet you and then to know you but you know this is the pandemic uh, problem we can't we can't do anything about it okay the things that we need 
that we can do today now is you guys stay at home and then try to to follow the timetable lah. I will try to. I don't know about other teachers, eh? But for me, I'm using the Google Meet, right? Okay. So next one. Mm, where is it? Okay. Okay. Now, can you see my presentation? Yes. Again. Yes. yes. Very good. So yeah. this. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope all the others also um hear me. Yeah. So this is the table of content actually. Yeah. For today, like I said earlier, I am not jumping into the what we call a uh, uh, to the topic. But today, I just want to discuss and then to to give you brief yeah about what you are going to learn in science form one. Okay. So this is the table of content. So overall, you have. Excuse me. Eh? Excuse me for a moment. Right. <clears throat> okay. Overall, we have about um, nine chapter for form one. Okay. I need you. I need you to explain. Uh, I need uh, to explain this first, yeah, so that you can um, imagine the overall situation of what you are going to learn in science form one. Okay, so altogether we have nine chapter. Chapter one, two, three. Chapter one is uh, introduction to scientific investigation. Chapter two is cell as the basic unit of life. Chapter 3, Coordination and Response. Chapter 4, Reproduction. Chapter 5, Matter. Chapter 6, Periodic Table. Chapter 7, Air. Chapter 8, Lights and Optics. And the last chapter for Form 1 is Chapter 9, Earth. Okay? You have 9 chapters to learn and to explain experience and to understand yeah, in form one and then if you notice each of the chapter is being separated into teams okay into what we call into teams okay this is the teams teams number one is the scientific methodology Huh? Scientific methodology meaning that how do you want to, for example, to conduct an experiment? Science is something that uh, what we call uh, a knowledge to solve a problem. You have a problem and then you try to solve it by using the what we call scientific methodology. There are ways or there are methods to solve the problem that is science is all about so for form one for chapter one just a brief introduction to scientific investigation in how you want to use the science to solve your problem and then ju not just the method but you must understand also what are the apparatus what are the tools what are the things needed for you to solve the problem uh, by conducting an experiment okay science is all about experiment uh, you want to find the answer but you need to um, um, use the scientific uh, scientific method you need the ways you need the step to find out the answer of your problem that is science is all about okay so there is a uh, seven subtopic in scientific methodology the teams number one, there are seven subtopics. Number one is science is part of daily life. We are not learning something that is not useful. Uh, we are learning about the science consists of what? The science consists of living things and the non-living things. Okay, living things such as us as human, animal, plant, eh? and then non-living thing as what? As what? Non-living things? Anybody? You can, uh, what is the example of non-living things? Living things, again, eh? living things such as human, 
animal and plant. Non living thing, can you give me one example? Anybody? Telephone. Telephone, yes, of course, telephone. Table. Yeah. Table, and then um, everything that is non living is not living, right? The soil, the rock, and then the metal, the iron, gold, and my spectacle, the plastic here, and then the glasses. This is all non living things, and then all related to science. Okay, this is science, what all about. 1.2, your science laboratory, okay? So, in secondary school, I'm very, what we call, um, don't know how to say lah, eh, because uh, we have science laboratory, and then inside the laboratory, we have so many things that you need to use and try to, you know, to use and then know how to use it. I don't know how to... Um, explain to you by by you know online, but never mind. We try again. Maybe we can. All the pandemic, you come to school and then we can go into the lab. Okay, never mind. Okay, your science laboratory. Okay, you need to know the rules of the lab, and then what you can do, what you cannot do. Uh, this is your science laboratory, and then one point three, the physical quantity physical quantity and their unit for example um, if you want to measure the length in meter if you want to measure the weight anybody you want to measure your weight what is the unit anybody hello kilogram Kilogram, very good. Thank you for your response. If you want to um, measure the time, you are using seconds. So this is what we call by physical quantity and their unit. I think this we can skip, yeah? or maybe I will just show you brief only. Okay, 1.4, the use of measuring instrument, accuracy, consistency, sensitivity, and error. This is measuring instrument. Okay, for example, if you want to uh, measure the length, if you want to measure the length of object, what is the unit? Uh, the unit is meter. And then what is the tool we use? What am I holding here, class? Ruler. This is ruler. 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 Yeah, this is ruler. Very good. So this is what we call a measuring instrument. Accuracy, what do you mean by accuracy? The accuracy here, meaning that the unit here, huh, accurate or not. And then the consistency, sensitivity, and error, we go through it later. Okay. 1.5, density. Okay. 1.6, step in scientific investigation, meaning that if you want to solve one problem, you need to follow the step. 1.6, uh, yeah? If you want to find out, you want to find out the answer, you want to find out the outcome, the result of the problem, you need to follow the step here. Yeah. This is what we're going to learn. And then 1.7, scientific attitude and value. Okay? For example, honesty and then cooperation. Uh, this is the uh, some of the value you need to learn when you are doing the activity or when you are doing the experiment okay chapter one teams number one all about introduction of science the introduction of science okay okay next one i will go teams number two okay teams number two this is teams number two we call it the maintenance and the continuity of life how many chapter here? Okay, sorry. In teams number two, if you can see my presentation also, consists of three chapters, starting from chapter two, chapter three, and chapter four. Okay. If you look at the title, if you look at the title of the chapter, chapter two, cell, basic unit of life. Chapter three, coordination and response. And chapter four, reproduction. What can you conclude? I want to ask you. Maybe you you um, maybe you you want to share something. 
if you look this three chapter, chapter two, chapter three, and chapter four, what are the things we going to learn? We we learn about what actually? Anybody? You look at the presentation, chapter two, chapter three, and chapter four. We learn about what? Living things. Yes, accurate, very good, exactly. We learn about living things. Okay, living things. We can we can uh, we can uh, what we call um, um, divided into three: human, living things, animal, and another one is what? Anybody? Plant. Yes, exactly. All right. So in teams number two, it is about uh, it's about biology. Okay. If you still remember your sister or your brother in form four or form five, they are taking pure science. You still remember pure science? Consists of what? Biology, chemistry, and physics. And also another one is additional math. Lah, add math. Okay, this is for class that has pure science. Huh? Biology, physics, and chemistry. Okay. In teams number two, chapter two, three, and four, which field? Biology, chemistry, or physics? Can you understand my question? Uh, teams number two. It's about bio, biology. Biology. Yes, of course, very good. Yeah, because we are learning about ourselves, we are learning about animal. And then we are learning uh, a, a little bit about animal and plant. But most of the topic we are learning about ourselves. Okay. So, chapter two. I will go directly to the chapter two. Chapter two, we are going to learn about cell. A cell is the basic unit of, of, of the life. I think you already learned this on your primary school. But in form one, we are going to learn again and then a bit deeper. Right, so 2.1 cell. This is the, the, what is the structure, what is the function, and then what is the organization of cell, and then what is the cellular respiration, and then what is the photosynthesis. Okay, cellular respiration and photosynthesis is the process you need to learn, meaning that what happened, okay, what happened inside the body, respiration and photosynthesis. This is on chapter two. Okay. Right, you go to the chapter three, you learn about coordination and response. And then the example here, very short topic, yeah? very short chapter in chapter three, you learn about homeostasis. In science also, you must be able to understand the terminology, the terms. Okay, that's why language is very, very important. But I think one alpha, no problem with language, right? English or Bahasa Melayu or your your Mandarin, your Chinese language is very excellent, I think, right? There is no barrier in language, right? Eh? There is no what we call, uh, that's why language is very important. Because science, some of the signs, there are terms, there are the words, words that you need to understand, all right? Homeostasis, respiration, photosynthesis, okay? Respiration, photosynthesis, uh, photosynthesis. these are all the what we call um, terms that you need to to know and to understand what's happening okay never mind so we go to chapter four chapter four you will be learning the first system in human that is we call it a human reproductive system okay Human reproductive system. You can see the baby here. Uh, okay, this is you're going to learn how baby was born here. A reproductive system. Actually, this is from form three, yeah? but the new syllabus, you need to learn this at form one. Never mind. Okay, we will go through one by one. Yeah, uh, a bit long. There are seven subtopics in chapter four, but never mind. We try to go one by one. Sexual and asexual reproduction. Okay, so in this topic, you need to open your mind first. Eh? You need to open your mind, but never mind. We are learning for the sake of the knowledge. Okay, we are learning for the sake of the knowledge. You already know, then you uh, maybe uh, what we call uh, you know what to do. Lah. 
right? 4.2 human reproductive system, 4.3 menstrual cycle, 4.4 fertilization and pregnancy. Okay, you see the terms here, yeah? you need to understand the term. Okay, you can Google it or you can refer to your uh, dictionary or your digital one, never mind. 4.5 factor affecting the development of fetus and the baby. 4.6 infertility and contraception. This is what I call in science, there are many terminology. There are many terms you need to understand. We go one by one slowly. And then don't forget to ask if you do not understand, right? And then 4.7, plant reproduction. Okay? But most of the topic, most of the topic in chapter 4, we are learning about the human reproduction system. Plant reproduction system in 4.7, maybe we just learn a bit only in plant reproduction. Reproduct. Uh, reproduction system okay you understand the overall the overall what we call the uh, overall um, feel in teams to teams to maintenance and continuity of life right you're going to learn about biology living things okay but this is only for form form one only three chapter any question before we continue? No. Okay, very good. No question. No question, yes, I understand. Good. So, we go to the next chapter. Sorry. Uh, next team is teams number three. This is teams number three. Okay. Teams number three consists of also three chapter okay chapter five matter chapter six periodic table and then chapter seven a okay so if you look at these three chapter matter periodic table and a what do you think you're going to learn you learn about what living or non-living things Non-living things? Non yes, accurately. Yeah, exactly. Yes, you are, you are learning about the non-living things. You are learning the other object in earth. Okay. For example, we go through uh, one by one from chapter five in teams number three. Okay. You're going to learn about what we call a uh, matter. Okay. Matter here. What is the 5.1? What is the matter in nature? Matter is an uh, object. Um, sorry, matter is what we call a, a, a non-living thing. For example, the ruler here is the matter. Okay, this is one example of matter. And then the mouse is matter. The object that we, we can hold, we can touch, we can feel it, and then we can... Um, we can uh, uh, touch, we can feel the weight, and this is all what we call by matter. And then, you are also going to learn about the three states of matter. Okay, three states of matter. What is the state of matter? Number one, solid, liquid, and gas. Okay, for the, the mouse here is solid. And then, water here is liquid. And then the oxygen, the air around us, we inhale oxygen. This is gas. So this is what we call the three state of matter. Later we're going to learn more about matter. Okay. Chapter 6. Chapter 6 is periodic table. You must understand the classification of element. Element here, for example, I give you example of element here. Yeah? Um, okay, example of element is watch is made from from the metal from the iron, and then the aluminium can made from the aluminium. I think you already learned about this, right? Uh, this is example of element. The classification of element: aluminium, iron, gold, silver, copper. Uh, this is all element 
but you need to understand, identify the element in what we call a periodic table. What is periodic table? The arrangement of element. The arrangement of element. Later we go through about that, right? Next one is the mixture and then what is compound. What is mixture and then what is compound? Later on, we will go to go through the, 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 the topic, right? Okay. Chapter 7, you're going to learn about air. The air around us. Okay, there are three subtopics. The first subtopic is the composition of air. Not only it has oxygen, gas, and carbon dioxide, but there are several elements, there are several compositions of air that you need to remember. Okay, I just try to ask you, okay. Like I said earlier, yeah, our air around us, the air around us that we inhale, that we breathe, the air that we breathe, we have um, um, oxygen and then we have carbon dioxide, right? So what is the other composition you think that uh, that in our air, in our air, available in our air? Anybody? We have oxygen. We have carbon dioxide. What are the things you think are available in our air right now? Any 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 answer? Yes. What are the things you think are uh, flowing or flying or, or, or floating at our air right now? The composition of air. Any any idea? Any idea, class? No idea. Hello. <laughs> uh, sir. Yes. Is hydrogen right? Hydrogen. Yes, of course. Hydrogen is one of the gas that is available in the air. Yes, very good. Or, if there is non-gas, we can say that we have also dust. Very easy, right? Dust. You know dust? When you are sweeping the floor, yeah. the dust will raise, right? Dust and then the smoke, the smoke from the vehicle, the smoke when you are burning something, uh, that's also. And then if you related to the pandemic here, yeah, also the, the virus also, the bacteria, maybe yeah, the bacteria or the virus or the microorganism also sometimes will floating in, in our air. Okay, so that is what we call by the composition of Air, the composition. Composition means what are the things that is in our air. That is what I mean by composition. Okay, so next one. Combustion. Combustion is we are burning, burning something. And then 7.3, air pollution. Okay, air pollution, for example, the smoke, the soot, and then the dust. Huh? And then air pollution usually is not very good things like, huh? because it will contaminate the air and then we have what we call um, um, very hard to breathe lah because of the air pollution. Okay. Right, next one. Teams number four. Teams number four consists only one chapter that is chapter eight, lights and optics. Uh, teams number four is energy and sustainability of life. Light and optic. Okay. Before I forgot to mention, Teams number three is what? Teams number three is biology, chemistry, or physics. Anybody? Teams number two, biology, right? Teams number three, you think? Which one? We learned about what? Chemistry or physics? Nah, chemistry or physics? In pure science. Physics. Okay. Now, nah, okay, sorry. Teams number three, you are learning about chemistry, chemistry, kimia, kimia. Okay, chemistry. Eh? Teams number two, biology, you learn about the living things. Teams number three, you learn about non-living things. This is on the field of chemistry, chemistry. Eh? I will, I will uh, try to uh, uh, type it for you. Chemist, chemistry, chemistry, yeah. Okay, so you go to team number four. 
Okay, teams number four, chapter eight, lights and optic. You also learn about uh, non-living things, but this is non-matter. You learn about how we, what is the light, and then what is the usage of light, and then the property of light, reflection, refraction, and dispersion. Okay, uh, this is chapter eight. And then for teams number four, we are learning about physics. Physic, eh? Number four, tip number four is about physics. You learn about lights and optics. You learn about the force and later. Lah. But for form one, you learn about the lights and optics. What is optic? Anybody? What is optic? OPT. OP, uh, light is optic. Light is cahaya and then optic is? Optic is the, what we call? Anybody? You want to talk? Optics is the things eh, that we need to uh, use in order to, to manipulate the light. For example, my spectacle here is an example of optical device. Optic got to do with our sighting, with our sighting, our view. Okay, uh, this is what we call by optic. Because our eye here receives the light, then we enable to see the object around us. Because all around us has the light. Light from where? The first sources of light is from the, from the where? Sun. sun. Yeah, very good. From the sun is the main sources of light. And then if there is no sun, there is the source of light from the, from where? Light. Back. Yes, from the main. Yes. Okay. So you need to learn about the properties, the usage of the mirror. You know what is mirror, right? A mirror, you can see it yourself. You can see the reflection of you on the mirror. Okay, later on we learn about that. Properties of light, reflection, refraction, dispersion. See here, the terms here, reflection, you need to understand this. And then the scattering, and then the addition and the subtraction of light. Okay, how we see the color, for example. Huh? The color, what is the color of my the mouse here? What's the color? Can you see the color here? Black. Very good. And then what is the color of the book? Blue. The color of the book? Blue. Blue. Yes. Blue. We're going to learn how we see the color. Okay, in chapter chapter eight, light and optic as well. Okay. And then for the last chapter and the, the last theme, themes number five, exploration of earth and space. You are going to learn about, not about our Earth only, uh, not uh, not about uh, exploration of Earth and space. You are going to learn about Earth and then things that on the outer space, maybe uh, on the other planet. But in, in Form 1, in Form 1, Teams number 5, you're going to learn about our own planet. Okay, The general knowledge about our own planet in Chapter 9. Okay. So, 9.1, what is the system, the structure of the Earth? We are going to learn about our own planet. Uh, maybe Form 2, Form 3, you are going to learn about others' planet. But in Form 1, learn about our own planet. Okay? And then 9.2, the composition of the Earth. And then 9.3, the main process of the Earth. Composition means what? Uh, composition meaning that it has soil and that it has water, right? Uh, uh, the sea, uh, the ocean, the river, and then the mountain, and then the forest, the structure of the earth, right? 9.3, the main process of the earth, the weather, you know, you learn about the rain, you learn about the formation of the volcano, and all that. 9.4, geohazard phenomena, for example, earthquake, tornado, storm okay and then what else the volcano the all the natural disaster okay that going on all over the world this is for 9.4 okay and then 9.5 the age of the earth and then 9.6 the earth resource and applied geology the resources of earth okay for example the the what we call the plastic Plastic on my spectacle is made from what? From the petroleum. 
where do you get the petroleum we get the petroleum from the from the deep under the under the earth right okay the wood uh, we we got the the table and then the chair here right it's made from the wood that is the example of the resources on the earth and they apply geology okay any question i open to question I open to any question if uh, you have any question because we have 10 minutes left. Okay, only 10 minutes left. No question? Is it okay? Is it okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for your response. Very good. Okay. So for now, for today, I do not have any homework for you yet. Because today is just the introduction for science and then introduction of me. And then uh, later I will give you the link for you to download the textbook the, or the, the digital, yeah, the soft copy one huh, for science form one. Huh? I will give you the link. And then if you have any question, you can ask me on the Telegram or on the Google Classroom. Okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, I stop presenting right now. So I need to take the screenshot. Can you open your camera for a moment? For one minute only. I want to see you. Hello. Only wow, majority uh feet girls, huh? Wow. How many boys there? Yeah. How many boys? Okay. Yeah. Uh, who, well, who is L? Low tiny. Uh, please open. Please uh, switch on your camera. <laughs> oh, 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 the only one is the only one. What? Who else? Who else? Why? Well, I I I. I, I have to the uh, okay. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Uh, Stanley, are you there? Chong Yang Yong Xin, Yukita, Yin Liu. You get the lie, eh? because you are from different, different school, right? You are from where? Eh? From where? Also from uh, Buloh, right? From Simpang Jalo. Uh, maybe you can know each other here of all eh? When the school reopens, then we can we can uh, know more, lah. Eh? Okay. I I okay. You can turn on your turn off your camera. Okay, it's very good, very good, very good cooperation. I like. Okay, okay. So, so we end our class right now. If you have anything to ask, you are all, uh, free to ask me on our uh, Telegram group or on the Google Classroom. And then, when is our next meeting? Our next meeting is on Tuesday. Yes, of course. Remember Tuesday, same time at nine a.m. I will give you the link and then on the telegram then you join my class okay so never mind after this i give you the link you download the the, the digital version of the textbook and then you can go through the textbook using your your laptop or using your computer or handphone first right okay if there is nothing uh, to us so we end the class here thank you very much for your cooperation and then we see you next week on thursday thank you you can leave the class right now Thank you, bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Yeah, you can leave the class. I'll leave the class now. Thank you. Bye bye. See you next week. Right.